time because I could tell she had a whole ring of people who were anxious to get there. So, um, okay. But wait a minute. It says the stream quality was lowered because the internet connection is not fast enough. On mine? No, I just got that notice. What in heaven's name? Oh. Uh. Here, let me go back to this and see. I don't think it matters. I think it does okay. I don't know. Well, we'll find it out. Says when... It says we're live. Yeah, we'll find out when people show up. There's Jill. Hi, Jill. Jill, does the picture look good? You're not going to see Vana. You're just going to see her work surface. Hey, Judy. Rebecca, Ter Terry, Terry made it. All right. Hi, Cindy. Hi, everybody. So I was showing Vana. You're not going to see Vana. You're just going to see her work service today. Um, but I was showing Vana my um, uh, chart I got, Alice Bearton. Say hi, Vana, so people know you're alive. Hi, guys. The, Alice Bearton uh, that we had at when I was at the attic. And so what I got for that is 46 count, this cream linen. And then I'm doing this with 103, this chocolate brown 103. I'm going to do that. Um, I've been wanting to do one with a chocolate brown on a cream or yellow. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm pretty excited about that. 46 count. I got I to gotta fix the linen. It's all wrinkly, creased up. So, yeah. And then if you're interested in that Portafet, uh, that uh, we've talked about, the uh, Jeans um, Sampler of the Month. This is the Confederate Gray that we got for it. Vaughn and I got. The sucker's long. This is uh, 46 counts. It's almost a yard long. Uh, Confederate Gray. But it's beautiful. And then we didn't get the threads yet. But um, it's a big, big honking sampler. So, yeah. That's going to be nice when we get to it. It's not on the immediate list, though. So, all right. So we're uh, a lot of people showing up. Thanks everybody for for joining us. You're not going to see Vana. Uh, what you're going to see of Vana is that right there. Vana's work surface. That's Vana's hand. Her other hand's on the other side. <laughs> uh, so, um, uh, sponsored by Lady Dot Creates. So, Lady Dot Creates dot com and. Um, Really glad to have uh, Lady Dot Create sponsor because Vana uses what just everything that they make in her finishing. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, everything. So she'll show you that in a minute. But uh, also, we're doing a giveaway, and I'll mention this a couple times. It's down at the bottom. We're doing a giveaway, so uh, Vana will finish. Kathy, yay! Um, Vana will uh, is giving away a free finish of a project, and. Uh, we'll have the drawing at the end of the show, and to, let me put it back on me so that people feel like maybe, I don't know. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, you send an email to Gary at We Talk Fiber. It's right down there at the bottom of the screen, subject line, finish me. And then Marga is sitting elsewhere on the ranch. Okay, she's in the upstairs room in the office. Um, I like ranch. I'm going with ranch. She's, Marga's elsewhere on the ranch. And uh, she is going to collect and put uh, all the people who sent an email is going to collect those and put them into a numbered list. And then we'll have a drawing at the end. And what you'll get is a free finish from Vana. But there's one stipulation. And that is you have to have a piece that you can send to her within 30 days. You can't take this thing and let it drag out for two months or two years or whatever. Got to be within 30 days and then Vana will finish it for you for free. So that's very kind of Vana to do that. So. Um, uh, 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 you have to have that. You have to be able to be able to send something within 30 days. So send an email, Gary at wetalkfiber.com, and in the subject line, finish me, and then in the text area, put your name so we know what your name is, and then uh, that way at the end we'll have a drawing and somebody will win that. And you send those now, and Marga is sitting at uh, another machine collecting those and putting them onto the um, uh, onto a list. Ilka made it. Yay. Is the, is the finish available for people from the UK? Vana? 
I am. A, I will send to anywhere in the world. Yes, Ilka, send an email. You are in on the deal. Okay, so, but first, before Vana starts finishing, we're going to talk about some lady.create stuff, right? Yep. Since you have everything in their catalog. Yes, I do. So, so here, all Vana. You want me on. to go? Okay. There we go. Okay, so I use all of Lady Dots. I have like everything that she sells as far as trims goes. And um, she has some of the nicest, fluffiest chenille ever. And this happens to be Teddy Bear, or no, Bird's Nest. And you can see that it's really flat, or I mean, very fluffy. And what I like about her chenille is, is that in a lot of times, if the chenille's very thin, I double it up and I don't have to do that for this one. So anyways, the chenille. Can you, can you hold that up closer to the camera? I, I don't know that I understand what chenille like that is for. I know what chenille is, but. Okay. So that's a kind of a variegated thing. then. Well, that's what she does because she's, you know, she dyes it. Yeah. Oh, she dyes the stuff. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Gary. What do I know? I don't, you know. <laughs> finishing, ex finishing expertise, that's you. I just show up. She, she dyes all of this stuff. So it comes raw, and then she dyes it. Oh, okay. To whatever color. So, like, this is bird's nest. This is liquor. Yeah. Uh, this is sizzle. Bread, you know, so all of them. I have vanilla, snow, got it all, got it yeah. all. Yeah, okay. Several, several, okay. hundreds, you know, here's pink. So basically, if you, if you need a color for chenille, she pretty much has it. Yep. Okay. Hmm. So that's chenille. The other thing that she, oh, here's a blue one too, Union. Uh, the other thing that I absolutely love, I love rickrack in my finishes. And if you follow my finishes, you know that. But um, one of the best colors I think that she makes is vintage color. And it's kind of, um, you see, old looking, vintage looking. Yeah. Bird's nest, another very great color. Kind of that model -y. I like that, on, especially on primitive country looking finishes, modeling. Bird's nest, awesome. Vanilla is another color that I use a lot of on Lady Dot's Rip Rack. And she also has some of the nicest palms, pom-poms, chenille pom-poms. This is sandy gold. And then we have sizzle again. Ballerina. Harmony. Anemone. Great fizz. All of these. Oh, and then this is something else. Then this is, you know, when I do like the rick ruching around, you know, the ruching around the sides, yes. this silk yarn. Yes. This is, well, this is rayon and it's beautiful. You know, it looks crumpled up, but you know, you just run it gently underneath your iron to make it flat. Yeah. Anyways, this is Grubby Jack. I love this. Now then, this is silk. She also does silk ribbon. Right there. Isn't that mm -hmm. pretty? The difference, very, really not much difference. I mean, in the feel there is, but you can see this is rayon and this is the silk. Yeah. I've got all those colors right there. Okay. Then the next thing that I really do like is she does velveteen. She hand dyes velveteen. Uh -huh. And this, her velveteen, she gives you a very nice cut of it. Um, I've already used this, so this is cut off. One part of it's cut off. But very rich velveteen colors. I love it. So velveteen, give Lady Dots a look. Um, you can get them, you know, at your local needlework shop. But um, she also, many people don't realize she also has a Etsy shop. And just look up Lady Dots Creates on Etsy, and there you go. Yeah, that. Okay. Uh, yeah, because if you go to her site, it'll say that uh, she's wholesale. Um, but then there is an Etsy shop, retail to Etsy shop. So you can buy yeah. this, you can buy this, all this stuff you, you, you want. Uh, she has right. all the same stuff. So that's at uh, lady.creates. So we appreciate her uh, sponsoring 
um, that and welcome everybody. Now, uh, we've got a whole lot more people have joined here and, um, oh, somebody's given us a thumbs down already. Sorry. <laughs> Jeez. Sorry. Um, uh, if you want to be entered into a drawing for free finishing from Vana, Vana will finish one piece for you for free, uh, to, for the winner. Uh, down at the bottom, Gary at wetalkfiber.com is the email you send. In the subject line, you put in uh, the words finish me and then put your name in the text area. And then Marga is sitting in our office and she is making a list of people. So there'll be a numbered list and then we'll do a random number generator thing at the end and somebody will uh, win free finishing from Vana. The only stipulation is you have to be able to send something to her within 30 days. We're not going to let this yeah. drag out forever. So it's something you can send in 30 days or stitch your brains out and send it. Um, <laughs> then uh, Vana will get it finished for you. But uh, that's the only okay. stipulation is is the 30-day thing. <coughs> Sorry. And that can be anywhere in the world. She'll ship anywhere. So And, and yep. Vana has instructions that she'll send you for how to ship things to her so she gets them in the right way and so on and so forth. But she'll deal with that when you win. Um, yeah. And thanks to everybody for joining. Uh, so glad everybody could find time uh, on Saturday afternoon to join us. It's great. Thank you. So I'm just going to shut up. And, uh, well, no, I'm going to ask questions. So if you have questions, yeah, fire yeah. them. And I'll fire them at Vana. And Vana's just going to finish whatever she's working on. So yeah. there so you go. So this piece is um, so that we can get the copyright down for the person, the designer. This is the Scarlet's House. Um, Autumn Pumpkin, I think it is the name of it. And um, I'm going to make a mounted flat fold for this one. Silka, yes, but, you can ask. As a person with no nails to speak of, do you find your nails helpful or a hindrance to stitching and or finishing? That's Ilka. I've well. had I, I've had nails for so long that I don't know. It doesn't, but they don't. You know, it doesn't. You don't think about it. Bother. No. Well, there you go. So, Ilka, grow some nails. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> so many people able to get in on the live stream that haven't been able to. So that's great. Um, let's see. What do we have here? Fit Stitcher mentions this often on Floss Tube. Thank you for that. Yeah, we appreciate those mentions. Helps get the word out. Uh, Jan, Mike, uh, Jan, Mickey Ells had to cut her grocery trip short on the snowy day so she could get home. That's all right. Your fa your family can go get their own food. It'll be fine. Uh, Martha Kay you used rayon on my piece and I love it. Terry Backhouse, where are you? Like, oh, where's Il Ilka's in England. Ilka's in England. She's been a guest three times, four times. I don't know. Yeah, look back in uh, Fiber Talk. Uh, Ilka's kind of a regular guest, yes. Does amazing stuff, uh, design work, the whole bit, yes. Uh, check her out. Big fan of Ilka. She's the one I learned um, Hardanger from. So, let's see, getting caught up. Yeah, it's snowing. Yeah, good day. Yeah, same here. Snow, slush, rain, and it's going to be like single digits tonight. Yeah. I have a 3D Uncle Sam's hat that is canvas. I have the finishing instructions, but I don't want to finish it. Will Vana finish it? <laughs> you need to contact me at my email. Yeah, con yeah, contact her because she doesn't generally do canvas work, so it makes her nervous. Oh, canvas work! It's a is that needlepoint? She means no, I don't do needlepoint. This point, is Beth sorry. Fred. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah, she generally yeah, doesn't no. do that. Yeah, sorry. So, but yeah, TJ yeah. Designs, I do have somebody that I can send you to that is very does very good work. Um, her name is TJ TJ Designs, I think. I'll have to look her up. She's on my Instagram. Yeah, send just send a direct message or email to Vana and she'll connect you up. Gary, Gary Maple Gary Maple from Men's Night at the Attic joining us. Hey Gary, thanks for joining us. Ha ha, ex excellent. That was fun. That was a fun Men's Night at the Attic. Yeah. What is the whiteboard is going to be using for the back? Oh, Vana is going to be, yeah, spell check. What is the whiteboard Ghana is going to use, or Ghana is going to, yeah, spell check's a pain in the butt. 
So what is the whiteboard you're using for the back? This? It's mat board. Mat board? Acid free? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Have I finished that SAL yet? I haven't finished any SL, any SALs, Ilka, ever. I have a bunch started, but never have. Did I do a video of men's night? No. It was just us guys. It didn't seem appropriate. It, it was going to be really weird if I did that, so I didn't do it. We had fun, though. There's one picture. That's it. <laughs> But we had we had a great time. It was it got really quiet while we were stitching, and you know, just guys were concentrating. And one one guy uh, said that uh, we'd gone the whole night and nobody swore, and somebody else said, "Yeah, because I didn't want anybody to know I'd made a mistake." <laughs> so, uh, uh, Vaughn, I'm making an ornament out of a candle lid. What do you think I need to use behind my stitch piece? A candle lid. What's a candle lid? So it must be a lid from like one of those fancy smelling candles. Oh. Just that matte Is it going to be huh? down in? Yeah. Is it going to? Yeah. I mean, that's what I, I use matte board when I mount anything. I use it every time as matte board. Acid free matte board you get from? I get it from a distributor that sells in bulk. So I buy $500 at a time. Oh, okay. But, but um, where I would suggest individuals get it is like at a frame shop or at Hobby Lobby, get them in the sheets. Yeah. Acid free. Yeah. Ilka asking, do you prefer lacing to glue? And yes, you do. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We talked about this uh, last Wednesday when we were or, or at some point, about uh, you, you try to do everything as as uh, archival um, and mm -hmm. as as you possibly can. Like yeah, everything. I have free. to use. I have to use glue to like assemble things, but I prefer. Um, I mean, like, see, I laced it, and I don't have to mess with it. See, it's just like perfect. I mean, yeah. I don't mean that like I'm perfect. I don't mean that. I mean that the lacing it makes it lends it to be you know very easy to move around if you need to or whatever yeah what type of thread is that i had that question too what thread are you using to lace with upholstery thread upholstery thread okay yeah i've often wondered that and see that that's going quick for you i thought it was a longer more tedious process gary i've probably done two thousand of them well i, I believe <laughs> yeah. that yeah but still, I mean, that's, I can't even, yeah, I, I, um, I, uh, counted my finishes from last year and I had 632 last finishes. year. Yeah. Yeah. 742 the year before. Jeez. Um, do you double the length of thread for lacing? Yes. Okay. Poppy Thistle. Hey, Poppy. Checking in, minus 22C in Nova Scotia. That's nasty. I want to go to Nova Scotia, but not now. How thick is the mount board? Um, Four-ply. Four-ply mount board. But I'm going to tell you a secret that is not in any, of my, in any of my tutorials. And only the people here are going to get to do it. And how many thumbs down do we have now? We're going to get some Still more. Still just the one grumpy person. That's it. Okay, thanks. I appreciate all the thumbs downs that we get every week. Um, <laughs> we had what five or six the last Wednesday show. It's like wow. I don't. It's it's somebody that doesn't like me. <laughs> but anyways, uh, what well, I'm going to tell you a secret, and it's not in any of my tutorials, and I wasn't going to tell anybody ever because I just decided figured this out about a year ago, probably. Um, finishes in my opinion, look much better if you double your mat board on the front. So I cut two pieces of mat board and I glue them together. Can you see that that's two pieces glued together? Yep. So when I do that, I do it on the front. So this is my front and I have two pieces glued together. And then I put two pieces, I double up the, the cotton batting and I use, uh, uh white white uh white natural white and 
white, soft and white or something. Uh, cotton batting, 100% cotton batting, no rayon in it. Flats, because you want flat, you don't want lumpy. And um, so I put two mat boards and two cottons on cotton the battings on the front and what's going to be on the back the middle so this is going to be the front of course but let, i'm going to do me, a mount Lana, let me interrupt you terry terry backhouse asking what are you making she's making a flat fold yeah yeah and but this is going to be a mounted flat fold so this is going to be on the front of this right like this and um so when I make a anything that's mounted, an ornament, a pin keep, whatever, flat fold, my front and my back are always doubled. And that makes for a really very sturdy finish. Let me show you. Here's a finished flat fold that I finished this morning. And so you can tell on the side here, see how that's thicker than the inside? You can't really tell since I on this one because I have a cording on it but the on the back this is what the back looks like so this is double and this is a single but that makes it like very it's just very, it's very sturdy. sturdy yeah that's and, a lot when of you, substance, yeah. and it doesn't hurt you know like some of my older ones they began to kind of curl on the edge and i mean all you have to do is like bend them out like people don't want to do that but you know, they like are afraid, like, oh, if it curls, I can't do that. Yes, you can. You just go like this or like that, and that'll fix it. But I do a double mat board, four ply, acid free, double mat board. And they said I did three. These are three. Wow, those look great. Holy smokes, those all, are cool. All finished the same. So if she's going to do like a, you know, yeah those so look there. great yeah these really turned out very pretty didn't they yeah nice stitching they worked out great wow mm -hmm. yeah. yeah all all finished the same because it's the same client this is actually my friend's renee's oh i'm gone wild <laughs> renee <laughs> these are all her yeah these are all her her finishes because i finished yeah for my friends so anyways uh, um okay deborah neely uh deborah she's using upholstery thread to lace she doubles the length uh height how tight do you need to pull when lacing tight enough i guess huh whatever you want to be tight because it'll yeah you want to be tight i mean you don't want to like well just watch what i do yeah i i mean you don't want it when you're first putting it on you don't want it like tight because um, you're going to like work it tight because if you have to like wiggle it to get it like straight on the, on the board, then you don't want to like have to unlace it or, you know, make it like looser. You just kind of do it at first and then you tighten at the end is how I do it. But I'm not a professional. I mean, that's whatever, yeah. whatever you feel like. Yeah. Cindy Baldwin, is it mat board or foam course? Mat board acid free, Cindy. Um, Kathy Mountain has her Guinness open. Yeah, see, Kathy's got the advantage. She can drink later. It's later. I'm sipping Why Diet Pepsi. People, foam core. I only use foam core whenever I'm making cubes or I'm framing. I don't use foam core. It's too thick. I know you can get different widths, but in my opinion, it's too thick. But if you feel like you want to use foam, you can use whatever you want. You can use a cereal box. I don't care. You know, you can use regular cardboard. Now, those things aren't going to be acid-free, but you right. could use that if you wanted to. But you're getting your best results long-term doubling up acid-free mat board. Yes. Yeah. Um, thanks to everybody for the kind words. We appreciate it. Uh, can you, uh, Nooper asking, can you show how you attach two pieces of lacing thread for longer projects? Okay, well here I am. I'm, I'm, I, I use, I don't use great big long lengths. I always so here I've got, I use a double. Here's double. I always double up on my thread just so that it doesn't break. And here's another length of it. And all I do is I put all four, all both ends together and make a knot. Just a oh, hand, overhand knot. That's it. 
and then you have a new length and you're off and running. Yep. Okay. <laughs> it's a mat board sandwich. <laughs> yeah, basically that is what it is. Did yeah. somebody say that? Yeah, somebody did. That was uh, that comedy moment brought to you by the crafts enthusiast. <laughs> Uh, have you ever used sticky board? No, nah, I don't think she does. No, yeah. never. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Better ways to do it that last longer. Give you more flexibility. And it's um, sticky board's hard to mess with. You can't get it straight. And then if you can't get it straight, you have to pull it all apart. And then you have that sticky all over the place. Mat board is much more user friendly and easier to work with. And long, longer lasting. Uh, Jan, I hope your picture clears up. I got a feeling we're going to deal with a little blurry picture. And Vana's breaking up a little bit every just every now and then. I think that is um, just a result of us feeding from Vana's to mine to the internet. So, um, sorry. We're testing the limits, I think. Uh, let's see. Looking for more. Oh, Paula Lima. Her husband just said she needs a table just like Vana. You win, Paula. You're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. We're happy to help anytime. <laughs> uh, if you're finishing a soft finish, do you use interfacing instead of a mat board? Depends on what the soft finish is. Okay. But help me with that. So, like if it's a... A stand well, up puffy pillow, thing. If it's a pillow, I will definitely use interfacing. Um, I use interfacing a lot. There's some things I don't use it on, and I can't think of anything right now. Okay, so like um, a, a uh, let me think, a tart pan. I don't use interfacing. Okay. A uh, can like a candle, like a on top of the candlestick, I don't use interfacing. Okay. I use, I use a cotton batting then. So okay. when I'm done lacing, you can see that it's, you know, there it is. It's about a quarter inch on all sides. That's what I, I'm not happy with the way it is on this lacing down here though. So you can kind of just, just, scrunch that around as you go once you get it laced to get it lined up exactly right then yeah yeah okay a little little break in the action if you want to be in on the drawing to get a free finish from vana it's down at the bottom and uh you send an email to gary at wetalkfiber.com subject line finish me put your name in the text area and send that and marga is making a numbered list as we go along here and we'll have a drawing at the end of the show for a winner but you have to be able to deliver the finished piece within 30 days. So that's what that is down at the bottom. And uh, for those who are joining us after the fact, uh, Lady.Creates is our sponsor for this show. And you go there, Lady.Creates.com, and uh, get all kinds of finishing materials. That's what Bonnie uses. Why do you not use foam core? Um, prefer Mac. Did I think you... it's too. First of all, it's more expensive. First, first of all, it's more expensive. And second of all, I just don't want to use that. <laughs> anybody, can, anybody can use what they, it's thicker. And um, I mean, if you want to use that, that's fine. No, I'm not, I don't ever say on any of my tutorials, although I think people think that, that my way is the only way to finish. I don't believe that. And I have never said that. Um, I use what I find is superior and you know i wouldn't tell the colonel sanders how to fry chickens and because he's fried a whole lot of chickens right and i have finished a whole lot of finishes so i know what works for me and what works for me might not work for you and that's okay who is the designer i assume of the patriotic pieces do you know yeah little house needleworks all right and it's um um it's a thread pack that's available from Classic Color Works. All you have to do is contact your um, needle workshop and say that you want the the three 
Uh, it's called uh, Land of the Free, Land of the Free, Long Macy Wave, and Home of the Brave. It's a whole package deal. Yeah, you get yeah. the threads and the um, the designs. Yeah, Sue Brown. Yes, uh, be on your way. It'll be recorded, and you'll be able to see it later. Um, Kathy Mountain. Vana's instructions are impeccable. Thank you so much, Vana. Yes. Vana does that stuff well. Thank you, Kathy. I appreciate that. It takes Fl a lot of time. Floss Gal, what do you use to cut the mat board? I'm going to move you up, Gary. Okay. Okay. You see that right here? Uh, right there. This. It's a Logan mat cutter. Sim it's called Simplex Elite Mat Cutter um, 750-1. It's about $500. It's a professional grade mat cutter. So can everybody, would it be wise for everybody to have that? No. And so I'll show you what you do when you, this is what I used for years. An acrylic ruler and a mat knife. But I finished so much that I have wrist and hand problems and I had to do something different if I was going to keep on finishing in the quantities that I finished. So I purchased that Logan mat cutter about three years ago. And that was the best thing that I ever did for myself. You can get those at Hobby Lobby or Michael's uh, mat cutters at hot, in a very much smaller. I got the professional grade because of the quantities that I do that you you can get them at Hobby Lobby or online. Amazon has them too in smaller sizes that would do the same thing if you plan on doing a lot of finishing. But but with a, a, a good straight edge and a knife if for just one or two things every now and then, you can get the job done. Yes. And yeah. that would be, you know, a, a, and a good acrylic ruler like what I have and a utility, a utility knife like five bucks. And an acrylic ruler is about 12 bucks. And you're going to probably be spending anywhere from 50 to a hundred dollars for a, for a mat cutter. Yeah. Okay. So here we're done right there. So it's all laced. I always go back. I don't know if I show, I did not show this cause I was talking, but um, when I get done lacing, this has a tendency to like fold over and make a big lump. So I always go on the four corners. You can see here, I go from one corner. Where did I start at? I started here and I, and I like did a little stitch right along the front. Can you see that? Yep. Is that good? Yep. Okay. I did. And then I went from there to here and I made another little stitch to hold that down from there to there, did a stitch and then ended off over here. So that keeps so those folds in place then. Yeah. And then where I joined, I always try to go back and cut those shorter so they don't stick out the side. So that does that. Now then, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my back side, and this is the fabric that I'm using for this. That's what it's going to be mounted on. And I'm going to do the back hinge our back piece on the flat fold is always the hinge that will hold like a book and that's how you think about it is that a flat fold is sort of like a book and um so this plaid did not come on the bias i cut it on the bias so it came in just lines like this but i cut it on the bias so that it would be you know like diamonds So I have to make sure that I line it up so that it's, it's going to be diamonds. And then so the first thing that I do is you can use spray glue. And I often do that, but I'm afraid about my lungs because I spray so much. So I've not been spraying. I've been using my glue and okay. I use my finger. Okay. Hold, hold up. Hold up right there. Oh, go ahead and do, go yeah. ahead and spread that out. Go ahead and spread that out. And then I have a question. Keep going. Okay. So what I do is I just use my finger 
And I just spread, you want to pay special attention to the corners. And you want it just a thin layer. You don't want it gobby. You just want a thin layer all over. And then pay, like I said, special attention to the edges and the corners. Okay. Now then, I got to find my, oh, here it is. I always have a um, wet towel to wipe my fingers and to wipe off any glue on my thing. Now then, we want this tacky, not wet. And you can see by the glaze, the shine, that that's wet. So I set this to the side. And then I get my next one and I put glue on my next one. Okay, now okay, let, you can go right, ahead, Gary. Right, now, now, right there. Now, one of the coolest things I think you do show the jar with the with the glue. Oh, I just think that's cool. Now, uh, what, uh, tell explain why you do that. So that it, I don't have to. I would for okay. So I've been finishing for fourteen years. This is my fourteenth year of finishing for the public, and um, I, like I said, I have hand and wrist problems, and so for years when I would set it up like this and grab it, then I'd have to take it and shake, shake, shake. And that's a lot of stress on your wrist. So I just started putting it upside down. So I never have to shake it. It's always, the glue is always right at the tip. And this isn't, as you can tell, a glue bottle. This is a mustard or a ketchup or a dressing oil bottle that I get at Sam's six in a pack. And then by putting it upside down in there, then it, the tip doesn't dry out. So you're you well, always... see that. Okay. That is like, a, that's like a, okay. So I put like a ribbon thing, a ribbon spool at the bottom of my glass. I glued it in, glued it in. That's a ribbon spool. And so this is like a three year glue knob. <laughs> <laughs> and so you can see that it just fits right down in there. You built your own like cap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> and I do that. On, it takes a long time to get a really nice, like, funnel <laughs> for your glue. And that's three years old. And I would, like, not, I would, like, probably cut off my nose to before I would try to make a new glue because that takes a long time to build it yeah. up. I just think that's great because you can tell it's such a time saver. Yeah. And it just is. And I like, I buy my glue by the gallon. So that's why people, you know, have asked why I don't not have it in the Aline's tacky glue. That's what I use, Aline's tacky glue. It is acid free. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to go back to this guy, and you can see it's still a little shiny, but it's tacky and not wet. And so what I do is I put it right down, and then I flip it real quick. And I I don't want to rub it yet. I'm just going to tap it to make sure that it's on there. Okay, and then I'm going to set it aside. And while this one's getting tacky, I'm going to do my next one. Okay, while you're these while are you're, single ply. Okay, while you're doing that, uh, I'm, go I'm going to go back to me. All right, folks, don't be scared, but I'm going to go back to me. This is this is the glue she's using, Aline's uh, tacky glue. Just so everybody, anybody who's interested, that's what she uses. I bought yeah, this bottle because Vonna recommended it, and I've never actually opened it, but that's what she uses. So if you're wondering what that is, that's what she uses. So, okay, back to Vonna. Okay, so okay. I got this. These are going to be the inside of the, like, of the book of the flat fold. And um, so I only use single plies for this, for these. So we're going to go back to the one that I just did, and it's pretty tacky and not wet, so I'm gonna put it down. Okay, I'm wait, I gotta, you, I get like. Okay, I gotta get caught to up on these, to, I gotta get caught up on these comments too while you're doing that. Um, do okay. you use, use the same glue to join mat boards together, right? Yep, yes. Yeah. Um, is there an eight ply acid free mat board? Jeez, I don't know. I've never noticed, I don't think so, but I don't know. Um, I don't know. I get four ply. Yeah. Okay, getting caught up here. I'm going to be honest with you. 
I know that people are, why do, why are people worried about that? About the eight ply versus the four ply and me putting two together. Well, I think they're just curious about whether they can just buy four ply and not have to glue. I just think this is another re I mean, I have a reason behind everything I do, right? Doesn't most people have a reason behind everything? I do. And I think that the glue actually makes it stronger. Glue and two together actually makes it stronger, personally. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm maybe I'm stupid. I don't know. But well, I don't it, think it, that would be it's what works I think for you. One six, <laughs> I think one sixteenth of an inch. I think that's what one sixteenth of an inch is four ply. And I don't know that I've ever seen like one thirty second of an inch, but I yeah. don't know. I'm not a stranger. Yeah. Um Tommy Jane, how do you not burn out worried about your hands? Yeah, Vanna has ample hand and wrist problems. She has to be very careful uh anymore because she's done so much um yeah get worried about burnout i am kind of burned out to be honest with you yeah she's cut back quite a bit she would last year you were actually just about at your wits end yeah i was i I'm, i mean it's um uh i love to finish i'm gonna be honest with you i love to finish but um, what I don't love to finish is when I have to be down here like 16 hours a day. And with as many, I turned away 10 people yesterday. Yeah. And, um, or I told them to wait that I wasn't, I'm filled for right now. And um, I really am kind of filled for right now because I've got 50 packages here. <laughs> <laughs> and, each, and each package has like, probably anywhere from five to 12 finishes in it. So I have to be very careful. I love to finish, but another thing that kind of takes my joy from it is that when I'm like, you know, uh, when, you know, people have expectations and of like, get it done, you know, like Amazon time. I, well, I sent it to you two days ago. Why do you not have it done? Well, this is like an art and it's handwork. And as you can see, we've already, how, how long have we been here? 40 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not done yet. I mean, right. I know that it hasn't all been, and I'm pretty fast. Yeah, no, I would, okay. I mean, I would just, I would just say, you know, just conversations Vana and I have had in the past year. Uh, she mm -hmm. was, it, it was just getting to be too much at some point, you know, you're down in the cave all the time and uh, yeah. You, yeah, you literally burn out and, and it just gets to be too much and, you know, she needs a life. So she's cut back quite a bit just so she could have a more sane approach to it. But, uh, yeah, you can tell by the work folks that she truly loves it and is good at it. Um, but, uh, okay. Uh, Kathy Mountain says that we're at $42,376 for the hats contribution to Australia. So that's fantastic. Um, made Madiket mom. Wants to know how you got into the finishing business. Diane Williams. Diane Williams. I, uh, yeah, I, I finished for her. I was a model stitcher and finisher for her. And she told me in 2008 that, um, or 2006, one of those years, that um, there was people out there that like to cross stitch but don't like to finish and that I should seriously consider opening some sort of business where um i finished for other i offered finishing services for other people and i was like there isn't anybody out there that would do that and she's like you'll be surprised and so i offered my services and i have been busy ever since yep um and out of my 14 years i want to just say this real quick out of my 14 years there's only been two people that have said they don't like what i did for them and both of those times I took them back and I redid it free, gave them their money back and redid everything that I did free and then never had them again when they yeah. asked. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, I wanted to thank everybody who, hang on, go ahead, Donna, while I hack my brains out here. Okay. I want to thank everybody who uh, supported the attic from our last two uh, Friday night shows. Uh, really turned a lot of business for Jean. She's very appreciative. 
And I just, uh, uh, Vaughn and I just appreciate the support that you watched and supported our sponsors. It's, it's always, always appreciated. And, uh, and today our sponsor, Lady.Creates, as you watch Vaughn do all this stuff, all the finishing materials that Vaughn uses come from Lady.Creates, or most of them do. Uh, the trim. Lady, the, the all trim the trim, too, trimming yeah. materials. And uh, so if you're, if you're looking at a source for products for finishing, Lady.Creates is, is the place to go. They have an Etsy shop. You can uh, get all the things that Vana uses. And um, uh, we really appreciate when you support our sponsors. They keep this thing going. And then also down at the bottom, for those who might have joined later, um, wetalkfiber.com. Gary at wetalkfiber.com. Send an email and subject line, finish me. Put your name in the text area. And then at the end of the show here, we'll have a drawing for a free finish from Vana. The only stipulation is it has to be something you can send to her within 30 days. But send an email. Marga is sitting elsewhere in the house uh, making a numbered list, and we'll have a drawing at the end. But that's what that Gary at WeTalkFiber.com finish me at the bottom is for, is uh, so that you can send an email to get in on the drawing for a free finish. But just please remember, you have to be able to send the thing within 30 days so Vana can finish it so this process doesn't drag out forever. Um, yeah, and I'll and I'll send anywhere, and I, it's it's on me. The finish is on me, and the shipping back is on me. Because I just want to. Well, can I just say that really quick? I just love everybody that comes and and supports Gary and I, and supports me on my social media and my channel. And I I love to do that. Last year, I gave away a thousand dollars worth of finishing free. And I'm not saying that to like pat myself on the back. I'm just saying that I'm capable of doing that because I had somebody last year that won and she wouldn't send to me because she was in another country. And I con tried to contact her three times to say, please do send to me. And she wouldn't do it. So I'm just saying that to that. I want to do it. I'm happiest when I'm doing for other people. And I'm not just saying that either. That is true. I just love to give to other people. And this is a talent that the Lord has given me. And I just like to share it with others. And finishing makes people happy, doesn't it? I think so. Yeah. I'm when happy you, when, when you, you do. I'm, I'm happy when you finish for me. I think it's great. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, love to finish. I, I don't want it. I, I mean, we're talking about do I get burned out and stuff. And I do. But. You know, don't we all get burned out on stuff? I don't want people to think I'm an old grump. I feel like I'm being a grump today. I'm not, I don't mean that. I love finishing. Gary, you know I love finishing. Oh, I know you do. I yeah. just don't I just don't love finishing 18 hours a day. There's just there's just a <laughs> yeah, there's just a physical <laughs> limit to what you can do. Okay, let me get caught up on these things while you're gluing those things up. Ilka, okay. is it is it is that is the Aileen's tacky glue PVA glue? Quite frankly, it, most of the words on here are in some other language, and so I really can't tell you about the ingredients. I really don't Polyvinyl? know. Polyvinyl? No. No. Okay, so it's not. It's he, just white glue like Elmer's. Yeah, original tacky glue, but yeah, it's it's dries clear, non-toxic, mm -hmm. ultra strong, it says. But yeah, the rest of it I can't read because I barely read English. Um, uh, Lisa loves your teaching style. Well... Yes, we do. Uh, Terry Backhouse, been hesitant to try a flat fold. Vana has a video for how to do flat have, folds. Uh, explains yes, the whole thing. Yes, and I have written ones too. I think let's talk about that. A lot of people don't realize that I've been getting tutorials away for a long, 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 long time. I also have a written tutorial blog. If you Google just Vana, you will see like I'm the first hit and it's like, you know, a whole two or three pages of where I'm at. But um, if you put learn to finish with the twisted stitcher, that is my tutorial blog. And I have links to every written, every video, anywhere that I have told you some sort of tip trick or something about finishing is on that blog. And um, it's also linked from my, my own personal just written stitching blog too so yeah there you go several confirmations that gluing two together makes them stronger so there you go vana you're Thank right you. Yay! Yeah, you're right and you don't even know it think about that <laughs> i just do it because honestly i'm always you know 
we always learn, right? Aren't we always learning? That's what made us, that's what made Homo sapiens come to existence was that our capacity to learn. And even though I have done, let's figure I have done, let's say 500 finishes a year for the last 15 years, that's a whole lot of finishing. And I'm still learning. You know, I'm still learning. So. Yep. Paula Lima, how did you two decide to do shows together? (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. I don't know. How did you? Well, Gary just liked me. Vana was, yeah, that's pretty (laughs) much it. I just like Vana. Um, (laughs) No, Vana was a guest. You were one of our first guests when Christine was I was number two. Number Number two. two, yep. And uh, we did a couple more, and then when Christine left, then I contacted Vana and Debbie and Arlene and said, hey, would you guys do Wednesday shows on an alternating basis? And Vana said she'd do every other week, and it's just worked out, and then all these extra things have just grown out of that. Um, we just have a great time doing these things. So, um, yeah, nothing special. We just have a great time doing it. So we just keep doing yep. it. Uh, Kathy Yance, do you wash the fabric before using it as a backing? Nope. Nope. Right no. out of Joanne's mm-hmm. rack. Well, you probably get it from the quilt store, but um, I get my fabric from um, the home um, homespuns. I get from Joanne's. Ha- my Joanne's has a really nice selection, but Hobby Lobby has a great selection of homespuns. So um, I I I do have some Joann's fabrics, but I only use them if they're in the quilting cotton section. And um, Hobby Lobby has fantastic fabrics. They have very high quality fabrics. And I use theirs uh, a lot, but predominantly the fabrics are from the quilt shop that I work at because I believe in quality. And um you know, quilting cottons from Moda or Westcott, or wherever you want to get them, is um, high quality. So that's why they call them premium quilting cotton. Okay. All right. So uh, right now, obviously, you're putting uh, clothespins on to make the edges stay together. And then... I like to make them, yeah. And I and while I'm doing this, I'll do the other one. I'm going to... I just do it just so that I can, like, set it up while I'm fixing the other one. And um, that just helps bring these two together just for a few seconds. I, I do that just so that it brings, well, you know, you can see that they're right. all, I don't like to have any gap. Yeah. And then the, the ribbon you put in obviously is to hold the thing when you open it up so it doesn't right splay out. And, right. Right. And you cut, what do so you I cut? Just, a, what do you cut? An eight inch piece of ribbon, something like that? Six to eight, somewhere around in there. Around I don't there. really yeah. measure yeah okay so i'm making my book i always think of how how do you make a a a flat fold is like making a book so this is your back cover and now i'm putting in a page and um when you're you know in all books i went to actually and made a, a book myself one time and all books have glue in their spine and when they first started making books, they used like tree sap. So don't be afraid of glue. Glue is your friend. And I just, so I'm putting a little bit on the spine just to make that a little bit tacky. If you don't do that, your pages will slip out. Uh, let's see here. Um Where'd you learn to finish? You pretty much taught yourself, huh? I am self-taught. Yeah. And a lot of my finishes, a lot of, okay, so let's talk about this. Mounted flat folds. I was the first person to do it. The first person to ever do a flat fold was Judy O'Dell. And um, she did it and it was like, whoa, what a fabulous finish. But the first person to do a mounted flat fold was me. The first first person to do like a mounted ornament, a tag ornament, um, was me. The first person to do those ornaments in a acrylic ball, like I do them. I mean, there's I saw acrylic ball ornaments, but they were like just had like the thing stuck down in there, a cross stitch stuck down in there. One that was mounted and made with snow, like that. I was the first one, like I do mine, was the first one to do that. Several things. I've just, 
the Lord just, it's just like what I said. The Lord blessed me with, I'm one of those people that I can see something or think about something. And um, I can just uh, recreate it. I'm always thinking about things. And I'm always trying to come up with new ideas, I guess. Okay. All right. Dumb guy questions. Yeah. What, why did you not just cover the rest of that? Because this is, because I am right here. Oh, okay. And I want as little as I can. Of, I don't want it. To, yeah. You know? Yeah. Okay. That's just our binding. That was just our book binding. Oh, I see. And, you know, I don't, it looks like I'm using a lot of glue, but really I'm not. You don't want to use, you just want to, you want to, I mean, you don't want your stuff to fall apart. But, um, yeah, that's not a good thing. <laughs> yeah. You don't want, you want to use enough that you don't have to like drown it in it. Yeah. Folks, um, uh, again, because it really is, it is very tacky. Yeah. Again, uh, lady.creates is where Vonna gets all of her, uh, trim, trim materials and so on and so forth. Lady.creates.com sponsoring the show. And then if you want to win a free finishing, uh, project finishing uh, job from Vana. send email right now, Gary at wetalkfiber.com, subject line, finish me, put your name in the text area. And this is just for people who are watching the live show. So as, as people yep. are watching the video after the fact, uh, you're not eligible because we're going to do a drawing at the end of the show and uh, that'll be the end of it. So it's just for people who are watching the live show that we're having this drawing. And it has to be something you can send to Vana for finishing within 30 days because we don't want this thing to drag out for years. So uh, if you don't have something that's going to be need finishing in the next 30 days, then, you know, don't. I will say this, and if you're overseas, I would prefer it to be a smaller type thing <laughs> <laughs> rather than something like, you know, three by four feet or something. But it does, I will do anything for anybody. Oh, I see how you did that ribbon now. Oh, very cool. Yeah. I wasn't quite sure what yeah. you were doing there. Look at you. It's like you know what you're doing. <laughs> you think? It's just like that. Okay, now I'm going to put this on to hold it while we're fixing the front. And... Um, because I've got all the things glued now and everything attached. Oh, and uh, folks, anybody who's doing the uh, Jane Marshall Australian um, piece, if you haven't bought your uh, thread and linen, seriously consider from the attic the uh, 5360 with surfing thread. It makes a, a absolutely adorable little five by seven sampler. I couldn't believe it when I saw it at the attic and immediately ordered 5360 and surfing thread. It is fantastic. So if you haven't done that, seriously consider it if you want, if you can work on 5360. So, um, and then uh, all your trim materials from lady.creates. If you want to get in on the drawing, uh, only for the people who are watching the live show, information is at the bottom to get in on the drawing. So. Okay, so now we're going to mount the, the, the needlework onto the board. Yeah. But right now I'm auditioning trims. I don't know if I want to do the dark one, if I want to do a white one. And this is the Lady Dot Creates. I think creates. I kind of, yes, this is Lady Dot Creates Rick Rack. That's vintage that I have laying up there right now. This is vanilla, but I think vanilla is... I think that it's like maybe a little bit, I think it's too white, too stark. I do that. I mean, I don't know. I, I, this is really honestly what I do. I always addition my trims. That's why I have a lot of them here. See, I like the way that looks. Yeah. I like how that looks against there. But, and see, I think this one is a little bit, I, I think that that, doesn't like set it off the way I want it to pop off. You know yeah. what I mean? And I'm, so I, I don't, I don't want vanilla. 
<laughs> Joe Walgren. Advice to others. Don't try to clean the kitchen while watching this. Stop it. You're missing stuff. I'm going to have to rewatch because I have stupid dishes. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is, I think this is, uh, what is this? Teddy bird's nest. I think. Yeah. Bird's nest. I always want to call bird's nest teddy bear. And I think that, I think that this is pretty, but I think it doesn't set it off when it's against here. I think the best one is this vintage. Yeah, personally. that background fabric causes kind of a, yeah. Yeah. So hmm. I'm going to do the vintage. That's what I thought yesterday when I was setting everything up for this last night. But, you know, you never know until you get in the middle of it. So how I do this is some people would say, you know, just start and go all around and fold it over like this. And you see there's some people that finish. And you can tell that that's what they've done. That's not what Bonnie does. This is what I do. I cut and I always want my wave to go down and hit on this corner like that. And then I measure it. And that's the first one. And I know that that's going to be a top and a bottom. So I'm going to measure the bottom one just off this top one and clip it. Okay. So that's my top and my bottom. Now I'm going to do my side, and again, I want my wave to go down on the corner. I'm going to go there. Uh, let's see, Lynn Rodby, you put down my email address and the word finish me in the comments. Uh, if that was your entry, that's not going to do it. you got to send an actual email so Margaret gets you on the list, because Margaret is not able to view these comments. Now then, I ironed, I when I first get um, Lois's uh, trims, uh, particularly these, I, I go through and iron the first like little bit so then I don't have to stop and do it in the middle of finishing. But, um, you know, don't be afraid to iron the rickrack to make it, because it's wrinkledy for, you know, just because she, uh, what did she do to it? She dyed it. Okay, so I put just a little line of glue along the top. Okay, so same same glue, just smaller bottle for a smaller line. Yeah. And we're basically splitting the edge, splitting the rickrack with the edge of the piece. So half of it yep. sticks up. Mm -hmm. I always like to, and then when I put it on here, I'll mess with it more, but I want it just to hold on here first and then I mess with it when I once I mount it on the piece. Okay. Cause you got time to mess with it. Don't when you put glue on it, you don't have to that's another reason why I like tacky glue is that you don't have to like freak out. It's not gonna grab you know, uh, a lot of people think that I use hot glue. No, I don't use hot glue because once you put hot glue on it, you've got a mess if you don't work fast. With this you don't have to work fast, and um, you can change things because it doesn't dry immediately upon contact. Imp and then I just make my what? Oh, sorry. Folks, information to enter into the drawing is at the bottom. Gary at wetalkfiber.com. Subject line, finish me. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I just make my waves match on the corners. You know, I put my waves. Okay. So then that's how it's roughly going to look there. Now I'm going to take my clothespins off. And, and part of why you're able to do this so fast is because you start with tacky glue, not wet glue. Uh, well, it's wet. Yeah, but I mean, you what let you mean? it dry. Supposed you let it air dry some. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't have to wait. No. <clears throat> oh. 
okay, now I don't have to smear all this all over because it's going to flatten out, flatten, flatten out, okay? But I want to make sure that my corners, I get my corners, and then I want to put just a little bit on the rick rack. Somebody says, where do we get the mini glue bottle? I think I got it at Hobby Lobby. Comes in a four pack. And I got it because fine point. Right. So that it was very thin, very thin to on the edge of ornaments and stuff like that. Okay. So here's a big step. Yeah. Because you want yeah. to <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's an understatement. <laughs> yeah, thank Okay, so here I always hold it like this and I put my 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 fingers down and then I kind of visually make sure that I'm centering it, right? And I just lay it down. I don't I don't pat it down yet. And then I measure. It should be a half of an inch. While she's measuring, uh, wow. M. Ann says, not able to see the email when viewing this on cell phone. Uh, didn't know that. That's good to know. Thank you. It's Gary at wetalkfiber.com, and subject line is finish me. So Gary, G-A-R-Y at wetalkfiber.com, subject line, finish me. Okay, so I know that I just measured it, and I saw that I'm a half inch on all sides. So I, I'm, I can really eyeball pretty good because I've done so much of these. So now I'm just going by before I completely cut it down, and I'm making sure that my rickrack, the bottom of the way of the rift graph is just right along the edge of the flat fold. I mean the stitched and, mounted and, piece. And the, the corner poker router allows you to adjust that uh, make fine adjustments. Yeah. Yeah, this is the, I have like these are like my two greatest things. A chopstick and my acrylic points turner. I do not use my acrylic points turner to point to turn out points or poke out the corners. I use it when I, to like manipulate things um, when I'm finishing because it's thin and I can get up under here to like push in stuff <laughs> and yeah. it's, um, it's acrylic. So I can just wipe it off when it gets glue on it. Yeah. Il Ilka asking if there is glue going on to the lacing, would it be so bad to glue the original stitching? I love lacing and would do no, it anyway. I don't, no, I don't glue. I don't, the reason that I do lacing is not because it doesn't have anything to do with glue touching the stitching. The reason I lace is because I can get it. If, if you make a mistake gluing, you have to tear that all apart on your mat board. And um, you'll pull off the layers of mat board with it. It's much more forgiving to lace because you can manipulate these sides to make sure that they're perfect. That's, yeah. why, I, that's why I lace. April, uh, she's it's a corner uh, turner out tool, is what it's she's using. It's a points using. turner. Yeah. Points turner is what points they call turner. it. Yeah, get them at Joann's. They have that. But if you're going to use it um, to make uh, exact corners, get the bamboo one. If you're like yeah. doing a pillow or something. Don't, this don't, one for sewing. Yeah, this don't use that sewing. plastic one. Yeah, yeah. And this one for this one's the one I use for just finishing. I have a whole. I've got a whole whole arsenal of them but but don't don't use those plastic ones if you're turning out a corner on stitching they're too sharp the bamboo is better and that's in the quilting okay. section of joanne yeah or the sewing yeah section um okay so the one so this is done and now what i do that's pretty isn't it it looks yeah. really good. That really came together nice. Okay, so you know what I like about it? I like that this is mimicked in this. Yep. That's why I chose that fabric. Okay, so anyways, before I ever put anything up, I check to make sure that there's no glue along any seam, and you can see that there's not. We know that we're all straight. Yep. 
And what I do for what I do now is I put it inside a Ziploc bag like this. And I made myself a sturdy cardboard. This is like two layers, three layers of cardboard. And this is my base. And I put this in the middle. And I put three or four pieces of mat board on the top. And now I'm going to go shove it underneath uh, um, my tubs of fabric to like smash down the, uh, the sides to make sure that all, everything is like, you know, stuck. And I leave it in there for like a half an hour. And the mat board allows, holds it in place so that it lays flat and all of the um, points get pressed down equally. Yeah. Okay, now then we're going to finish the hardware bowl for um, heart and hand. There's two of them. And I already cut out the little nobbin that will keep it on inside. And um, this is going to be the top mounting place. Again, I have two two mat boards and two pieces of cotton, cotton batting, but I need to have my little sandwich piece. I forgot that. Okay. Now I, I know the so, first question is going to come up is how do you cut the circle? With scissors. Well, that's just flat out archaic. <laughs> yeah. I have better control. I don't have like one of those, I guess you could probably use like a cry cricket, um, but I don't have one. So I use, when I ever, it's a special shape, like, you know, like Kathy Haberman's hands-on designs, fab uh, ornaments where she has all those crazy points and cur curves and stuff. I just cut it out. These are $2 scissors from Hobby Lobby. I have about 20 of them because I used to cut, teach classes and would provide them for my students. And I use these for cardboard only. Well, I tell you what, just watching you go through all this, I can see why your hands and wrists are just at some time screaming at you, man. <laughs> okay, Elka, thanks for joining us. Enjoy the dinner. But oh man, yeah, you're just working those hands and wrists like a dog. Jeez. Yeah, and I, on a good day, people ask me how many can I finish on a good day. Um, I can finish on a good day four to six things, depending on their size and what they are. Four four things to six things is what I can finish in a day. That's about it. I don't think I've finished anything more than that. Yeah, well, that'd be plenty. Yeah. Now, this... This heart and hand, uh, I did a video with her at some point along the way with these little, th those are the ceramic bowls that she sourced. Yeah. Had somebody make, I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this. Um, this will be our underneath fabric. You see, it'll go with this one right here. So I'm going to put like a little bit of glue on this because we have to make like a little knobby thing to hold the, hold it in the dot. So I'm just going to smear it just like I did on the other one. And while we're busy waiting on that one to get a little bit done, I'm going to do it on this one too. And this is just mat board again, right? Yep. Just mat board. This Acid is just free the, mat board. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Folks, uh, Create uh, Lady Dot Creates is our sponsor for all of your finishing materials. And then if you want to be in the drawing for free finishing from Vana, uh, send email to Gary at wetalkfiber.com. Subject line, finish me, put your name in the text area. And Vana or Marga puts you on the list for drawing at the end of the show. And that information is down at the bottom of the screen, at the bottom of the video, not the bottom of the comments. Um, and then... Joanne Jones, never miss a fiber talk. Oh boy, our hero. Yep. Now we appreciate all the kind words we get from people. We don't always respond because Vaughn and I are uh, most days otherwise occupied, but really appreciate all the kind words and the support. And we appreciate people spreading the word about fiber talk, letting others know. Uh, just really kind of you. 
Do you use magnifiers for stitching on those linen samplers? I have a hard time seeing those small. Oh, do I use <laughs> do I use magnifier? I use a magnifier for everything. Yes, even even for needlepoint, even eighteen point needlepoint canvas, I use a magnifier because I feel like I can get uh, the stitches to lay better. I feel like I have better control and get a better result. Yes, I um, absolutely. I use magnifier and LED lights every chance I get. And then you go watch somebody like Gene okay, Lee so stick, when... watch somebody like Gene Lee yeah, stitch on 5360 with reading glasses and no lights. I have no idea how she does that, but she does. Yeah, me. And, and when I was at the attic, I inspected a couple of hers on 5360. That stitching is perfect. I mean, spot on perfect. Like, wow. Uh, I, I, I just was in awe. Yeah, she's good. Okay, so now we've, we were. Now we're going to make this wrap around the circle. Right. Yeah, so you just do a running stitch along the edge. Uh, Crafts Enthusiast, do I use mag eyes? No, I never have. But I did try one at the men's night. One of the guys there had a uh, LED thing he got off of um, uh, Amazon. It was a knockoff thing. It has an LED light and then different magnifications, and that was pretty impressive. But no, I use um, uh, use magnifier with light, or I've been using um, my 5x reading glasses with uh, with a clip-on light. But uh, no, I've never I've never tried the mag eyes. People swear by them though. So now what we're we're what are you you're just doing a running stitch? Yeah, running stitch around the outside. And you can see how that, um, how it just cups around. Yeah. The piece. Yeah, so as you, as you go around, it's just scrunching up and kind of self-wrapping itself then. Yeah. That was a great sentence, self-wrapping itself. That was superb. It's almost like I do it for a living. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. I am such a master of the English language, I'll tell you. Oh, shoot. Now, this is single ply uh, mat board, right? Yes, this one's because it's right. just going to be the bottom thing. Okay, then when you make it back to the front, what I do is I just do like a quick little, I want to pull it to make sure it's tight, right? And I go across, I'm going to make a star. Now, this is just regular sewing thread? This is the upholstery thread. Upholstery thread. And so, oh, somebody asked a long time ago, uh, cotton or some other blend? Um, polyester. Dated her. Okay, so you can see I made a star there. Yes. Oh, I see. So that finishes off then and keeps it taut all the way around. Yeah, and then just end off. Make your lasso, go through your lasso twice, end off and cut. Uh, Teal, uh, the Jane Marshall that I ordered is 5360 uh, fabric and the surfine, a soie d'alger surfine thread, which is like hair, is what I ordered to give. It gives a cute little finish, little um, sampler. And Jean has an example. If you call the, if you call the attic, and just say I want the setup that is the 5360 linen. Uh, Jean will put a kit together. But um, she has to order that. She's sold so many that she has to order new stuff. So uh, you might have to be a little bit patient on that. But that uh, is the 5360 and surfine is the thread. It's silk. And, uh, but call them up. They'll, they'll fix you up. They'll put you on the list. I, she, and she talked like she was going to get more in quite soon. I told her for me, just wait and service other people. But um, uh, call up and just say that, and they'll know what to do. Okay, so this is going to mat on here to hold the bowl on the, you know, hold it on here. So you're going to do the same thing as what I just did on this little guy.
So while Vana's doing that, if you want to be in a drawing for free finishing from Vana, uh, information is down at the bottom. Send an email to Gary at wetalkfiber.com. Subject line, finish me. Put your name in the text area. And we'll have a drawing here when we uh, end the show. And uh, Debbie, uh, does she use regular thread for the running stitch? No, it's upholstery thread. She's using upholstery thread for uh, her lacing and for this work. 50, uh, oh, Deborah Neely, 5360 is the thread count on the linen that, uh, it's Jean's favorite one. So it's 53 threads one direction, 60, 60 threads the other direction. Yeah, it's really small, but um, oh, this um, Jane Marshall sampler is um, it's pretty amazing on that 5360. It's just a really fine linen that's it's an uneven weave. So 53 in one and 60 in the in the other. And you'll you'll want to do a test to see what you like because if you stitch in one direction, uh, your letters will be uh, your sampler letters will be shorter, and if you stitch in the other, it'll be they'll be elongated. Not a lot, but uh, you make a choice um, on that. So do a little little test ahead of time. But uh, oh, that Jane Marshall on the 5360 with the surfing thread is, um, is one cute little sampler. It's really special. Takes it down to, I don't know, four by six, five by seven uh, for that sampler. It's really cute. Singular double thread for lacing, Bona. Double thread for lacing, single for I this. do double. I do double thread for lacing. Yep. Just because if it breaks, then you have to stop and redo. I do double threads. Lori I Walt. Mean, it doesn't matter. Lori Walt, the star on the back circle is genius. So Lori's just basically sucking up to you is what that is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She'll take more of that, Lori. If you'd like to send more comments that uh, you know along those lines, uh, Vaughn is happy to have them. <laughs> Does Vana have any tutorials on making pin cushions? I believe you do, don't you? I have it pin. Yes, I do. Uh, what is the cost of 5360 and surfing kit for Jane Marshall? Look on our Wednesday show last week. I think I put all that information in the notes. I don't have it with me. I didn't bring that with me. Um, but I think it's in the notes for last Wednesday's show. If not, just send me an email, Gary at wetalkfiber.com, and I'll send it to you. But I think we gave the pricing for all, I know we gave the pricing for all that in the show uh, for all the combinations that Gene Lee had. And um, I think I put it in the notes. I just don't remember. But if not, uh, send me an email, and I will send it to you. And uh, understand, Gene is, uh, the, the demand for kits for Jane Marshall is, mag is just, it's been fantastic. But uh, um, you might have to wait because Jean was really scrambling to keep stuff in stock. And um, she's just had just been inundated, which is good. But uh, you might have to be patient a couple weeks to get your material now. And Teal, uh, I'm, I'm telling you, that Jane Marshall on that, on that really 5360 linen, it's just so, it's, I, I keep saying cute, but it's, it's just really a special result. I, I couldn't believe it. I just stood there and kind of, I know my jaw dropped, and I just said, I want that. It was, and I've never done 5360, but it's, um, and that surfing is like hair. It's so fine. I'm pretty sure it'll end up being a beading needle to stitch it, but oh, it's just beautiful. So, okay, back to you, Vanna. Oh, it's okay. I don't have anything to say. Vanna's going into a zone, a finishing zone. <laughs> So um, when you're doing this, uh, music, videos, silence, what's your preference? <laughs> I, used to I used to listen to books. And then I got tired of listening to books. And um, I sometimes watch Floss too, but then I find myself watching it and not working. Um, so I listen to <laughs> podcasts a lot now. Um, and I watch, uh, we signed up for, I found, you know, we are cord cutters and we have been for probably six, seven, eight years. And, um, so I, we had Netflix and, and Hulu and stuff, but you know, you don't, you don't get all the channels on that. And I really love science channel and I really love 
discovery and investigation and all those. And so Philo or Philo, P-H-I-L-O is a new um, thing that I found pretty cheap. It has some, it has all my favorite channels on there. So I have been watching it a lot here recently, just on the background. I do listen to music too, but um, here for the last few weeks months i've been watching philo because or listening to podcasts i listened to bigfoot syndicate that uh friendship album one i listened to ufo one <laughs> i listened to us to fiber talk <laughs> so listen to us yeah <laughs> teal uh teal you're more than welcome i would just say to folks uh if you're uh hitting up um uh, Sassy Jacks or the Attic um, for Jane Marshall. Uh, at this juncture, uh, be a little patient with them. Uh, the two nights, the three nights I was at, um, uh, or two nights I was at the Attic after hours, uh, Jean was there, and uh, like at men's night, she had two other of her employees there uh, till nine o'clock, and they close at four or five. Uh, they were working into the night, and while while I was while Vaughn and I were doing the show on the Friday night, and then while the men's night thing, I mean they were they were working, uh, they're working like dogs to keep up, because uh, Jean has an event this weekend, and uh, and then the uh, Jane Marshall thing, and then and then uh, the Fiber Talk efforts have generated so much business for they're really scrambling. I mean they sold a lot of stuff off of the Fiber Talk, and we really appreciate you guys supporting them, but um, they sold an awful lot of stuff. And so they're they're working like dogs to um, uh, to keep up. Did did I not? Did you not say about seventy for pricing? That sounds about right, Debbie. That sounds about right. I thought it was like yeah, seventy eight or seventy six or something like that right. is what I thought too. And then thirty percent of that goes to the uh, to the cause to the brigades. Um. Let's see, there was a question back here that I forgot to get to. I got so excited about you being a genius using the star thing, I forgot to get the... <laughs> well, maybe I got to it. I don't see it now. So, Carol Mullen, yeah, it was great to meet you and Bill at uh, Men's Night. Thank you. Thanks for coming. That was great. Uh, okay, Wendy, so now okay, Wendy, okay. Wendy, the uh, glue she's using is is uh, here. I'll go back to me, uh, so you can, I can just show it. Wendy, <clears throat> it's the um, Aileen's Tacky Glue. Here's a here's a pic. You can see the bottle there. Aileen's original Tacky Glue. That's what Bonnie uses for all that stuff. Yeah, Fair, fairly readily available. I didn't have any trouble finding it, so that makes it readily available if I didn't have any trouble. Okay, so now I've got my front. Are are we back to me? Uh, yeah, but let me get one more question. Teal, call call the shop. Don't wait. There's people at the shop working all the time. She's got three or four people there all day long. Call the shop. Business as usual, even though there's a big event going on. Um, okay, back to you, Vana. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I know what the question okay. was. The question was, are you oh. using interfacing on that uh, on that piece you just no. did? No, I don't do any interfacing on anything that's hard. Rigid. Anything like that. that's yeah, anything that's rigid or mounted on something that is rigid or cart, you know, on that board, I do not interface. Okay. At all. I covered okay, you, Helen. So now I, then, we, I covered you, Helen. I remembered. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. That's okay. Um. So here's my top, and here's my bottom. Right. And so it'll fit right on here like this. Right. This is going to be the thing that's going to be glued on here to keep that on so it doesn't slide off. OK, so um, I'm going to add some palms around this. And so these would be my two choices, in my opinion. And really, it's about equal, but I think I'm going to go with the purple. Now then, here's a trick that not very many people know about these. Okay, so this little, this right here, 
you cut that off. You cut this little, this, this thing, the flat thing, the flat thing right here. Oh, okay. Okay. And there's like little threads on there and I get my little scissors and I just, you just snip it off and it come, they come right off. Now it takes a little time, but you just pull it as you go. And this product is what now? This is um, chenille pom-poms. Okay. Oh, I remember you did a thing on those at one point. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I, yeah. I Well, they were probably in one of my finished, yeah. one of my videos. I just remember enjoying I, listening to you say pom-poms all the time. Oh. <laughs> I, found, I found weird entertainment in that. <laughs> Speaking of how I talk, um, my girls are, Ellie, her friends are over and she's got this one. Most of her friends are male. And last weekend they came over to watch movies and play games and stuff. And I was talking to them and I went upstairs and this one little kid goes, your mother has such a thick Southern accent. <laughs> and Kate, Ellie goes, she does not. And she, he goes, yes, she does. It's just because you're around her all the time. That's how come you don't notice it. <laughs> I think that's funny. I mean, I know I do have a brogue. I do. I know. I know that I do. Yeah. And see, I think, I, Ellie, think... I think Ellie has more of an accent than you do. Oh, really? Yeah, I really do. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? I don't know. It's just the way it hits me. That's well, I was going to say, um, on these little bowls from heart and hand, uh, the reason Vaughn is doing this, you can just set it on top, is there's a whole series of these things. And so you can get these bowls and then change them out. Yeah. Which is, is pretty neat because th those bowls are very nice. They're very nice bowls. Nora Hobby, yeah, she's Sunder Southern Indiana, you bet, all the way. Born, raised, and stuck there. <laughs> well, I was born and raised more Southern than what Bloomington is. I was born and raised in Hobstadt, Indiana. So was Keith. I'm just measuring to see if I have enough. I do. Okay, so then you want to see you have like these little pieces that hold it on to that, whatever that is. And um, I, you just kind of go through and pull those off. Oh, those little white nubby things? Yeah, it's like this. It's like the little things that held it onto that strip of uh, acetate banding. And you can, I mean, you could leave them on there, I guess, but it kind of bothers me, so I always pull them off. It's not hard. They just pull right off. Yeah. Get in on the drawing, folks. Email Gary at wetalkfiber.com, subject line, finish me, and uh, your name in the text area, and we'll do a drawing at the end of the show. And then uh, for all finishing materials, our sponsor this week, Lady.Creates. So check that out, too. And that's, okay, where, that's so, where those pom-poms are coming from, is Lady.Creates. Yeah, Lady.Creates. Okay, now then, I'm going to get some lavender thread here. Now, this is just sewing thread, okay? And um, so just regular, I use uh, you, uh, Coates and Clark All Purpose, which is polyester, I think. Now, where is my oh. Now then, when I use sewing thread, I always use wax. And it strengthens it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to do a um, I'm going to double it up and I'm going to sew the top together along with sew the, the pom poms on as I go. 
Laurie, okay. it's Laurie, it's Gary at wetalkfiber.com. Subject line, finish me. Should be at the bottom of the screen there on the video. But Gary at wetalkfiber.com. <clears throat> Okay, so I have an, an, the end knotted. I'm going to layer this on top. I'm going to get my palms. First, I'm going to like take one stitch just to get started. Hold that together. And then I'm going to lay my palm on there, and I'm going to just uh, couch it on. So I'm going to go across, around the couching, catch the bottom, catch the top, and pull. And when I pull that will catch that palm. So it's a, it's a couch between that, every palm. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just kind of like a whip stitch, but I'm just, catching the palms in between. Right. See how it is? Yeah. And then, then the purple thread just disappears then. Yeah. Visually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We should actually, I, I hate to do this. We should probably wrap up here. Uh, so okay. uh, just describe that now how this gets finished after, because it's going to okay, so, obviously be a while before you get that all stitched on. Okay. So I'm going to stitch it all around like this, right? And then I'm going to glue this onto the bottom. And what that does is hold it onto the bowl and then it'll just set onto the bowl like that. Yeah. And that's it. And that's it. Yep. Yep. Okay, all right, I think we're going to wrap up. I'm going to uh, uh, go mute here, and you can st stitch and talk. And I'm going to go find out from Marga how many people we have in the drawing, and then we'll do the drawing. Okay. Okay, hang on. Okay. So I want to know, did you... Um, uh, what I would like to know is, did people like this? Should we do this again? How many thumbs down do we have? <laughs> so, okay. or what? Yeah, I you know I was muted. Yeah, one thumbs down, just the one grumpy person. All right, we have 161 people. Oh. Who have uh, submitted? Okay. How do you deal with the ends of the palm trim? You just butt them together. Butt together. I, put a, I just butt them together and sew them. It, you don't, you can never tell. Look at my pictures. You can't really ever tell where I end and start. If it looks like it's obvious, I might put a little dot of glue on them, but with these palms, they with the chenille, it doesn't. Yeah. All right, I am. Uh, I'm looking up a random no number generator here. Just a second. One sixty one. I said right. Yeah. One sixty one. Yeah. All right, I'm going back to me so people can see the drawing. So okay, there we have it. Between one and one sixty one. Generating the number 128. So just, I'll go ask Margo who 128 is. Hang on. Okay. Okay, Suzanne Pruel, P-R-O-U-L-X, you're our winner. Thanks uh, mm. to everybody for entering, and we'll send email to Suzanne to connect you with Vana, 
and you guys can set things up. So Suzanne Pruel, P-R-O-U-L-X, is our winner. Yay. Um, Yay. So there we have it. Let's see. Um, yeah, so I think we're going to wrap up uh, uh, not only educational but motivational. Yep, it is. I'm glad to do it, folks. Somebody said do it again. Yeah, we're going to um, a, a new format. We're going to do Friday Night Lives, and then once a month we're going to do Stitch With Me for whatever reason, and then the other month we're going to do uh, this kind of thing with Vana. So uh, this will kind of be an ongoing thing. Uh, so there we go. Uh, I think we're going to end now and uh, let Vana get back to work. And uh, Lady.Creates, thanks for sponsoring us and uh, helping us do these things. Um, thanks to everybody for showing up and hanging in there. And you know, yeah, it was educational. I learned a lot of things too. So appreciate it. And with that, uh, yep, we're done. Suzanne. Oh, there's Suzanne. You win. We'll send an email, Suzanne. Yep. Okay. Thanks folks. Oh, here, let's, uh, let's go back to Alvana. We'll go out with a view of Alvana right there. Yep. Oh, yay. Bye. Yeah. Thank you everybody for coming and watching. Really seriously, thank you so much. Okay, thanks. We're out. Bye. Bye.